So we have packaging. All right. So this was the stuff we had available already. We had our shape. What we did is we add perimeter. We added perimeter. So now we have to implement perimeter for both of our shapes. Um, so actually, let me add a main function here. And what I'm going to do is say var s shape. And then I'm going to say s equals a circle. So I'll zero, zero, five. This does not compile. The reason this doesn't compile is because you cannot use circle, literal, type circle as type shape in assignment. Circle does not implement shape. Okay? So the reason it doesn't implement shape is it says area method has pointer receiver. So I could make it implement shape by doing this. I don't really want to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do is say s equals ampersand circle. Okay. So now I get a different error. So now it implements the area. So it says, cannot use circle, little type circle, as type shape, consignment. Star circle does not implement shape, missing perimeter. Okay. That's because I'm missing this method. I don't I have to define this method for circle, but I have to do that. So really easy. It's the circumference. math.pi times 2 times c dot r. Okay. Now it says I'm not using it, so I'm just going to print it. And that should compile. So there. So let's invoke perimeter. So I can say dot perimeter. Okay. So this is going to call this. S here is a shape, but it's been assigned as a circle. Make sense? That's probably right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so we have to do the same thing for rectangle. Same exact idea, we just say R star. So we can test that with s equal rectangle. This is a square, 10 by 10 square. Perimeter. Okay. So what I did here, I'm going to say it's the same variable, s. Why can I do that? Because s is a shape. Rectangle has now implemented the shape interface because it has perimeter. So we are allowed to do that. And now when I call s perimeter, I'm going to this perimeter for the rectangle. Okay. So there we go. So the area, the perimeter of this circle, and then the perimeter of this rectangle. We can use the same variable because they're both implemented. Okay. So this isn't uh, too, too. I mean, the the concepts can be kind of confusing. But once we start to get more and more of the code, I think it'll start to make more sense. Uh, you'll get used to writing this. Pretty common pattern uh, is when you're writing your own program, you make a struct type to represent your data, and then you add the methods to work with that data, and then you just call it in your main program. Uh, and so this pattern you'll see repeated. Uh, but basically, just put star in the name of your type, and you'll be good to go. Okay? Any questions? I think most people get into this. So. Cool. Cool. I'm glad we hired you for four weeks. <laughs> <laughs>